Praise the Lord. You are blessed to be in this place. And I want to say that you are blessed to be in Fountain Church in the year 2021. Because the Lord has a great mission and he has a great vision for us. The Lord has, uh, he has shown me something which if you had your ears open to what Bishop was saying and I haven't discussed with him in detail, of course he knows what the Lord has been speaking uh, to me and what he spoke here we hadn't discussed. And so for me, I took it as part of the confirmation that God has been giving for the word for this year, 2021. If you are watching online, stick around with us. I know it's late, but it's one of those uh, days in the year that we, are, we stay up late to see the new year in. By the way, we do it at Fountain Church, and I believe many believers who has a chance, who have a chance to do what we're doing, they would come together and listen to what the Lord has to say. The crossover is significant. It is a significant time whenever we are crossing over into any new um, time and the Lord has given us these years and these months and these days and these weeks to help us to mark time. Time is not eternal as we see it here. Time will come to an end and the Lord tells us that we are going to go up and to be with him and we are going to live and to be in another realm. But the time we've been given here on earth is precious <clears throat> because it is slowly running out. And the Bible speaks to us about the times at the end and speaking about things seeming to speed up and things seeming to happen at such a faster rate as Bishop just mentioned and as you probably know. And what we have seen in this year is a marker. It is a pointer to those that have revelation and those that, whose eyes have been opened in the spirit to see that like many, many other things the Lord has used to show, this year has been quite a year. It's interesting what Bishop was saying that there are different categories of Christians that the Lord showed him. And he showed me exactly the same thing. And he showed me that going forward, beginning with this year that we've just been through, there is going to be a sieving, and I mentioned this a few weeks ago, and the sieving has begun. The sieving of those that are the Lord's truly, and those that are not. And the Bible speaks about a time where the sheep will be separated, and God is looking for a group an army, a body. He's looking for people that are sold out for him because on this last leg, there's so much that he wants to do. And praise God that the Lord in his infinite wisdom, in his mercy, in his grace, he has seen that fountain church. There are people among us, perhaps not everybody, but there are people among us that are ready to take that step. And this year, the Lord spoke at the beginning of this year, the end of 2019, and he said, it is time to step up. And it is only now that I fully understand the revelation when God spoke to me about the word for the following year. And I really understood and said, wow, God has a plan and a purpose. We don't see it. What we do, we walk in faith and walk in it. I don't know if you guys remember our sister Copeland from Atlanta when she was saying, and she made us say these words, God has a plan, and I'm a part of it. <laughs> and we laughed and I loved it, but you see, God has a plan. And you and I are part of that plan, even though we may not know it to see it. And he loves to work in such a way that we just step in to this plan and things get unraveled and re re uh, revealed to us in time. Before I speak on this word, I want to encourage you, if you are here, that the Lord perhaps or most definitely wants you to be part of this plan that he has that involves this church. And this is a great plan 
and God is going to release something special and we're going to see the hand of God in a mighty and miraculous way. Now I'm going to read from Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. And for those of you who are very sharp to hear what the Lord is saying, you would have already heard the word. You know what, let me ask this. How many of you just shout out what you think the word the Lord has given me for this year is. And Bishop mentioned it. Even online, if you want, you can give it a go. Bishop mentioned a word. There is one word that the Lord has given us. One word. Revival. So, we got revival and so. Restoration. Uh, these are all good. And all these, I'm telling you, they are encompassed in this. Hallelujah. Revival. Restoration. What? Elevation. Hallelujah. What's that? Seething. What, what, what else? Someone said something over there. High. Flying high. Hallelujah. Now, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. The Bible says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Amen. NLT says, But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Hallelujah. I'm going to read that again. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Hallelujah. I will read again. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Amen. Hallelujah. And in the background there, just for your visual aid, I just wanted to display the word that we are running with this year and the Lord has spoken and you can get excited at this moment if you want and say so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you are in the spirit and I believe the spirit of the Lord is speaking to you and there's an excitement that has just gone into your spirit. Hallelujah. And I am thankful for you. And I praise God for you. And let us go. We will sow. And the Lord is going to use us in a mighty way. To sow is to rise high in the air while flying without moving the wings or using power. This is what soaring means. It is to rise high in the air while flying without moving the wings or using power. The Lord showed me a vision. I took time to pray and to seek God an extended time. Because I say to the Lord that this year, as we have seen, has been quite an interesting year. It's been a challenging year. And the temptation is to come and to say to the children of God that the year 2020 is over. So look forward to a greater year in 2021. The temptation is to come and say to you and prophesy to you words of hope but the Lord said to me seek and I will tell you what it is that we are doing for next year and that's when I got a revelation of why God spoke about stepping up it was part of a progression it was part of a plan and now we are going into a new phase hallelujah how many of you feel that we are going into a new phase let me see by a show of hands and by likes on Facebook if you feel in your heart that we are entering a new phase and this is a spiritual phase and it is a phase that only those who will trust in the Lord are going to be able to navigate through and be used by God and one thing I have to mention is that it is not everybody that is going to run with this message 
it is not everybody that is going to receive this message and make it their own that's why the bible says those who trust in the lord will find a new strength there is a strength that you have not yet found that i have not yet found that the lord has reserved and is waiting for you to find and this strength is going to allow you to do and to do exploits for the lord that you never thought you could do you have looked upon yourself and limited yourself based on your weaknesses and your history and what you think you can do and so the lord said to some of you he said step up and when he said step up he was saying that do something that you can do you step up the lord helped us to step up but we did the stepping this year those of you who have come to testify you know that some of the things that the lord has allowed you to do was because you made a decision you made a decision to follow and to listen and to be obedient and you stepped up when you stepped up you found yourself on a level that is slightly higher than where you were it wasn't drastic and some of you then stepped up again and some of us stepped up again and we did that and it was something that we did with the help of the holy spirit but we did it through our own will and god gave us the strength to do it now there are some who perhaps did not do it and the lord is saying that there is still time to step up but for those that did not receive and take this word step up they cannot move on to soar soaring the lord said to me it is for those that have stepped up but he's saying that there is still time for you to step up you will be slightly behind but there is still time for you to step up hallelujah and stepping up it is in doing in obedience what the lord has been telling you to do and you've been finding opposition in your heart and you've been finding things telling you that it is not you can't do it and there's been competing priorities in your life that have caused you not to step up there is still time to step up but this evening i'm focusing on what the lord is saying for those that have stepped up those that have done the natural the lord is now ready to release the supernatural hallelujah those that have done what god has called and asked for you to do naturally then the lord is saying now it is time for me to release the supernatural hallelujah hallelujah no man isaiah i asked you here so you can just help me to just because i feel like i'm, I'm i just want to i, I want to worship and we're going to lead into a time of worship and adoration just play something for me i'm, I'm musical it helps me to, to 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 communicate what the lord is saying those who trust in the lord those who have trusted in the lord and stepped up god is about to release a whole new thing in your life that you have never thought and how many of you are ready i am ready for what the lord is about to do hallelujah and so the vision that i saw i saw people in prayer stepping up to a place where there are no more steps to elevate the lord showed me a vision where i saw people whom some i recognize some i did not recognize and this has been a progression of visions and dreams and god also showed me other things i'll share with you but the lord i saw people stepping up and then some reached a level where there was no more steps they had reached the pinnacle of the elevation of that season or that dispensation I want you to imagine step, steps or stairs. Imagine a set of stairs and this has been the journey that you've been walking this year. It's been a journey of small incremental changes where the Lord has been saying to you, some has been saying, step out and into this ministry. Some parts of you said, mm, that's not me, I don't know, but you did it anyway. For some of you, the Lord said, now step up and lead prayers publicly. You said, Lord, I'm not, a, I'm not a speaker. I'm not spiritual enough. There are people who can do it, but you did it anyway. The Lord said to some of you, step up, come to the front. Stop looking at your talent, but lead my children in praise and worship. Then your mind said to you, I don't know if I have the talent. 
or the charisma, but you did it anyway. And you stepped up. There are some of you, the Lord said, release some of your wealth and do this and that and give to this and give to that. You said, Lord, I don't have enough, but you did it anyway and you stepped up. There are some of you, the Lord spoke this year and said, I want you to make amends with some people or someone whose, whose relationship with you has been so and is causing you maybe to miss the kingdom of heaven. And you said, but Lord, it is their fault. You said, Lord, I don't feel like it. You said, Lord, I don't want to bring up old wounds, but you did it anyway. And you took that step. There are some of you, the Lord said, I need you to wake up. Make yourself uncomfortable and pray. You said, I'm not a morning person, but you did it anyway. There are some of you that the Lord spoke to and said, I need you to fast and pray this year. You said, oh Lord, I'm not strong enough, I can't do it. But you did it anyway. And I saw in a vision, men and women and young people stepping one step at a time. One step at a time. I saw some other people refusing and continuing to stay where they were. And that's okay. And I saw some stepping faster than others. And that's okay. And I saw some stepping slower and taking their time. But that's okay. They were stepping. In this vision, I saw some people getting offended this year. I saw people getting offended at things which they saw. And so they stayed where they were. I saw some other people getting offended this year and brush it off and say, the Lord, I'm stepping up anyway. And they did. And the Lord kept me in this place and I saw men and women rising. And I saw when many reached a place and there was the pinnacle of the steps. And when the Lord showed me this, I prayed and I said to him, Lord, reveal this very same thing to my brothers and sisters. It is not enough for me to communicate this. I need to confirm it by you show it to them. And my prayer is that the Lord will speak to you before the end of this 21 days fasting, prayer and fasting and show you the same thing. Hallelujah. And I pray that when he does that, that you come and speak to me, encourage me, and I will know that the Lord is speaking to you. The same thing that he spoke to me. And so I saw this and interestingly, the Lord spoke to me at the beginning of the year about something different, but it was connected. This was to do with my own personal life. And it was to do with another ministry that the Lord has given me, which I used to say is outside of the church. But now I've come to realize it is part. I, don't se I can't separate what God has called me to do. And that vision was so clear. I shared it with Bishop, with Pastor Rose and other pastors. I remember I did a zoom conference with with men of god from around the world and i shared this vision and some understood it and they caught it and it was powerful one or two of them didn't get it and so in the same way that the lord spoke to me about that one he st spoke to me about this to do with the church and i started to see parallels and i realized that the lord is taking us to the very end of the days of our existence here on earth as we know it and he has selected you and I to do an amazing work. Hallelujah. Oh, gosh. Yes. Okay. So I have, I have nine minutes. When, 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 when we get to 2358, worship team, just come up on stage. I will stop where I've got to. We are going to worship the Lord will bring the, 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 the new year in with worship. And if I need to continue this later on uh, in, the, in, the, in the weeks to come, then I will. Now, when I saw people reaching this pinnacle, that's when the Lord spoke to me about this word. And the scripture came afterwards. But what I saw is I saw an ego. I saw an ego soaring. And what I did is I, I, I wanted to understand what, 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 what is God trying to speak to me. And I saw an ego soaring. That's probably not the best, um, the best uh, illustration. 
Because the one I saw, but I could, we couldn't find one, was not flapping its wings. It just had its wings out, but it was just soaring. And the word soar came, and I was reading in Isaiah, it says, but those who trust in the Lord will find a new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. Soaring is different from flying. What the one behind us is doing, it's kind of soaring, but it's flying a little bit. But soaring, there's a time where eagles or birds or powerful birds, they get to a point in an atmosphere where they are now just being carried by the forces around them. And there is thermal and there is heat and they are just rising to heights that other birds cannot rise. And so the animal that soars most is the eagle. And what the Lord started showing to me and revealing to me, he's saying now we have come to a time where now I'm going to do and release the supernatural in the lives of my children. Hallelujah. I'm going to release the supernatural. Hey, come on. I'm going to release the supernatural in the lives of my children. And that my children are going to sow. They are going to soar on wings like eagles. They are going to achieve some things that they never thought they would achieve. And it is all for the kingdom of heaven. The year 2021. I'm telling you the year 2021. Is a year where many people, many people you see around. Are going to struggle more than they've struggled in this year. But you're going to sow against the grain. You are going to sow. And I'm not giving you an empty promise. I'm saying to you that those that will trust in the Lord, those that will put their trust in the Lord, are going to do things which are against nature. They are going to do things which are supernatural. They are going to do things which for others are not working, but for them they are working because they've got a vision and a mission from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A year where some those that put their trust and hope in the Lord will see great things in their lives accordance to the call of God in their lives. Then what I saw, I saw these people standing on this platform on the top of the stairs. And one by one, I saw them just leaving this platform. There were no more stairs to step up on. But they just started soaring. They just got off this platform and they just started soaring like eagles. I saw people stepping up by their own strength, making decisions one step at a time. They got to a point where there was no more steps and they put their trust in the Lord and then they were released and they soared like eagles. Hallelujah. I'm telling you this is a year where according to the call that God has called or put on your life, you are going to see an amazing explosion of the work of God in your life. Hallelujah. You are going to see your gifts being represented like two fish and five loaves. Nothing to the eyes of men. But in the hands of God, they will feed thousands. You are going to see ideas that the Lord has placed in your heart. You are going to trust the Lord. And there are ideas that brothers and sisters have laughed upon. That even maybe your own wife or your own husband has despised. But in the hands of the Lord, see what happens. See what happens in 2021. Hallelujah. God said to me, do not worry. I'm doing a new thing. He said that we provide the human element. He said that we provide the human resource. He will add on to the human resource and material and spiritual resources for what he wants to do. I want to encourage you to take these 21 days. We've called them 21 for 21. Use that hashtag on your social media. Let's get it trending in our little circles. Hashtag 21 for 21. 21 days for 21. We are seeking the face of the Lord. And seek him and say to him, Lord, what part am I playing in this soaring? I'm soaring to what height am I going? Hallelujah. I'm going to read Joel chapter 2 verse 21. A word that the Lord gave me to go with this. It says, Joel chapter 2 verse 21 and 32 to 32. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice for the Lord has done marvelous things. Do not be afraid, you beasts of the field. For the open pastures are springing up and the trees bears its fruit. The fig tree and the vine yield their strength. 
Be glad then you children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord our God for he has given you the former rain faithfully and he will cause the rain to come down for you. The former rain and the latter rain in the first month. The threshing floors shall be full of wheat and the vats shall overflow with new wine and oil. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locusts have eaten. That's a word for somebody here. You are here for a reason. The many years and the years that the, the locusts have stolen, that the enemy has stolen, respond today. Make your steps. Get to the point where you saw. Hallelujah. I give thanks to God for the young people in this church. I have fellowship with them in the last few months. And I've seen that they've already gone and many of them are already soaring. They've gone ahead of the curve and they are soaring and they are saying that the Lord is doing marvelous things. Hallelujah. The crowing locusts are consuming locusts and the chewing locusts. My great army which has sent among you shall eat in plenty. Be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrous with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. Now listen to this. The Bible says, and it shall come to pass afterwards. And this is what is going to happen in this year. That I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. And I will show wonders in the heavens and on earth. You can be on your feet. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness. And the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whenever that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord said among the remnant of the Lord that he calls. Hallelujah. 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 Now I just happy new yes. Now I just want you to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ura baba ba sekere. Rede bobo sika ya da baba 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 ba. Roko bo sekete terere. Hallelujah. Just give me one minute. Just give me one minute. Just give me one minute. And we're going to go into a time of worship because we have to social distance. We're not going to hug each other. I want us to do something different. Let's just worship God as we open this year. But let me just say this to you. The Lord said, don't be afraid of heights. Do not be afraid of the change that is coming. Do not be afraid of the change that is about to come into your life. And he said that resistance causes the ego to fly even higher. Other forces cause the bird to flow even higher. The resistance you're going to feel in this year know that you're moving even higher hallelujah the lord is saying do not be afraid and god wants to set the captives free and his word to spread through this town surrounding towns and beyond i'm going to share more about this but this this evening this morning understand that it, we are taking off hallelujah understand that we are taking off and we are about to see a victory for the battle belongs to the lord hallelujah let us worship the Lord. Korebo Sikayaba. Hallelujah. Yes.
Thank you for watching this sermon. I hope you are blessed. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell so that you can uh, receive notifications when other videos are uploaded. So God bless you and hope to see you soon.